Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Don Mendez and his future spouse. We had a request for this, so this is a request reading, and I'm going to start putting request readings on the front of these so people know that they are a celebrity or a K-pop. I don't know, it's like People are like, oh, you're just bringing these um, celebrities up so you can get money. It's like it's a free reading. So how is that? <laughs> and that's why it's just like, huh? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So to me, um, these are requests, by the way. So <laughs> I'm kind of just catering to the what everybody wants here, and that's celebrity readings. So that's what I'm doing. So the requests i'm fulfilling the requests for no other reason other than it's been requested <laughs> anyhow let's get in it for sean mendez let's see here say yes to your higher calling so sean is definitely going to have some kind of upgrade here be a human exclamation mark i'm feeling like this is something to do with uh talking with somebody making a point hmm? in the castle of dreams become altered by the color of your dreams so maybe to i'm getting with this um <laughs> i don't want to say that <laughs> i'm kind of getting like 50 shades of shade or 50 shades of gray <clears throat> i think i said that backwards 50 shades of gray let's see dream sanctuary this might be what you're dreaming about there sean this is attend to the simple things number eight so maybe work here the number six in the castle of dreams i feel like that maybe of um wanting to balance something here let's see thinking about this for this, you were born. Nice. So foster your intention for incarnation in this dimension. So understanding why this reincarnation into this dimension is what it's for. So there is a calling he's meant to be doing other than what he's doing now. Breadcrumbs of bliss. Heed your pleasure principle. So needing to... Uh, back down about uh, it being a pleasure and having those naughty dreams. It's more about um, letting go of that part of it and going towards what you're truly supposed to be doing here. And it's not about what you are finding about how somebody looks or how they act or how pretty they are or how you feel in your pants. It's more about something else here. It's bigger than that. The reward celebrate your magnificence so there is something that you're meant to be doing other than what you're already doing there sean so let's see oh divine discernment step back and find clarity so kind of finding some clear being clear on something here so tell me say yes to your higher calling what is this for sean mendez there's no place like home nestle into the sweetness so there may be somebody that made you feel at home that you could be your authentic person you could be your authentic self with number six this could be that you were feeling quite peaceful and tranquility is coming in there uh, i feel that kindness and that love there's somebody that really made you feel good about being who you are you could be authentic you could be yourself the quest plunge boldly into life so there is somewhere that definitely John is meant to be. It's maybe going after his passion, what he truly is passionate for. Ah, there's a North Star. Flip your inner light switch on. So definitely something that he's meant to be doing here. I feel like he's thinking about whatever this is. It's like a beacon of light here shining and this is number 10, closing out a cycle here in order for a new cycle to begin. Breadcrumbs of bliss. Tell me about that, please, for Sean Mendez. Woo! You're in great company. Pull back to propel forward. So there's somebody you're meant to be kind of 
going back to or seeing something from I'm getting um maybe by going back maybe looking uh from within about how you truly feel about something and then it's going to help propel you forward what would your higher self do so you are divine your divinity in blue jeans so realizing that divinity within self that shining light and needing to move forward in that be reborn daily let go of the past and breathe in your new incarnation so really embracing that closed cycle here and shutting that door for good and not kind of looking back at the baggage it's kind of like letting that go in order to have a new you or have um make space for something new here what is this tell me what this is this is ending out and tying up loose ends of a cycle that is needed to be closed here tell me about this please time for a quantum leap prepare for a makeover so something is going to be renewed here within you or your situation or whatever this is that you're kind of heading back towards and then propelling forward from you're going to um you're going to find some clarity by stepping back and looking within to really what you're passionate about ocean of emotion find a safe place to express your true feelings there's that closing out of that cycle once again with the number 10 so definitely needing to close out that cycle and be real about what you're feeling towards something here uh this emotion uh ocean of emotion we have knights of the round table let there be love lift you higher so let their love lift you higher sorry so i feel like this is um maybe somebody you are with the number nine here wanting to be in visioned with or be with here when it comes to your wish fulfillment here so it's like having that integrity or some type of um yeah integrity is what i'm getting here um what you've won the lottery hey <laughs> so this may be uh feeling like you won the lottery by going and finding your person or whatever this is the love that lifts you higher you're gonna feel like you won the lottery or maybe you are make room for wonderment so this may be something that you um feel lucky in love like lucky is in the lottery or maybe you will end up winning the lottery wow <laughs> talk about lucky <laughs> wow dream redirection so maybe you need to redirect what your goals were now that you've won some type of lottery now redream the situation so maybe you're thinking about what you would do differently this next time if you have this connection with somebody oh hi let's see the magic zone the exhilaration of discombobulation so i feel like you were quite you weren't quite yourself uh, maybe when you weren't with this person with the number seven i feel like you maybe were assessing things and analyzing what maybe went wrong trying to move ahead and not really reflecting on the journey and enough to really feel it and let it go and close that door let's see what's on the bottom of the deck a splendid torch blaze brightly with number seven this is going to be some type of moving ahead here uh let's get some other cards here and we'll see what else we have for Sean Mendez and his future spouse let's see is there no place like home tell me about that oh thank you we have earth elements here stability with number 11 coming in this is kind of saying that maybe this is an earth sign here or needing to be grounded here it doesn't have to be an earth sign oh see maybe it's a capricorn <laughs> with capricorn coming in oh building your dreams wow 
saunter slowly maybe needing to go slow with this capricorn if this is what this is maybe there's something you need to use here uh with the capricorn i use the 22 maybe it's your ascended masters they're coming back through there's some growth here so maybe talking about something that's gonna have some type of growth we have the air element about communication so maybe you are going to communicate um using that air element here maybe you use the um earth element here about using something in order to communicate let's see here don't fall thank you six house and routine so it was on its side so it's crossing so the good or the bad maybe maybe a routine that you may have with a group of people here um with the sixth house and that that's all about your service your work um about analyzing things maybe some type of control or maybe it's about controlling or some underlying thing here that's going on maybe it's not you controlling something maybe it's your person or maybe I don't know. They're analyzing something for what it is. Uh, I don't know what that is. So let's see. Pluto, that ah, some type of transformation. So something's going to transform here, and it's maybe going to disrupt some type of routine that maybe you have with a group of people. Jupiter returns benefits. So I feel like it. Maybe it's friends with benefits. <laughs> I don't know, but. A Jupiter, Jupiter returns, some type of luck is going to come in that's going to benefit for you, Sean Mendez. Let's see. Ooh, second house and owning. So this is number eight. This may be about having some type of power or a material abundance that maybe helps you get your way or something along those lines. What is this? Yeah, Virgo, analyzing something for what it is. This is a wish, for, wish fulfillment. So you don't own any person you could you, you can't own them um you can love them unconditionally and let things grow and that doesn't mean that you have a say over what they do and share and their whole life they're giving you a part of their life they still have their own life to live as well in that self right we all have that self to live that self-love to give and of course love to their partner but by not having that self-love you lose yourself of who you are and by avoiding that by giving yourself that self-love is really going to help propel you into who you really are having that growth and having something successful come through here what else do we have here i feel like there's a a really good combination here um maybe having some type of spoken truth that needs to happen i feel like it has something to do with control maybe your person's controlling or um wants to be in control of what they're doing and it's got to be uh there's a fine line here there's about um i'm getting uh stay in your own lane <laughs> now whether that's your person or you um it's like when it comes to something here there's an off balance here of maybe um if you're seeing that they're not doing something or they need to do something or it's about them it's you're needing to look within again and concentrate on you and not them if you're looking outside of yourself at someone else and what they should be doing in your eyes you need to re rethink that and let that come that focus come back onto yourself you need to have some type of trust that that person's going to come through for you and when you can't have that trust of that they're going to do what they say they're going to do or they're going to be there for you then there's nothing there okay there can't be a relationship because now you're trying to control that person and what they want what they can do and what they can't do and you're not redirecting that back onto yourself and looking within of why you're feeling that in the first place is there some kind of insecurity you're having some kind of worry that you have about your person that they're going to do you wrong or there's some kind of underlying in maybe uh insecurity here 
Yeah, Mercury and Mind. So Mercury and Mind, this has something to do. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm kind of maybe I'm not meant to say something here, but with Mercury, it's how you're thinking about things, needing to trust the abilities of your person or trust the abilities of your manifestations. You've kind of mastered all these elements. This is the magician coming through with the Mercury. And this is all about maybe letting friends come into this situation and saying something to you that gets something sparked in you to make you worry or have some type of insecurity about something. So it's about maybe um, having a look at maybe initially about that friend group when it comes to something here. Um, I'm getting that you're going to know what this means, Sean. All right, Sean Mendez, please. Ah, the fifth house in creativity, number 11. So I feel like with number 11 here and this creativity, I feel like the two of whoever this is can really create some great things. This is maybe another person that is in the same field or maybe um, is just creative in their own way. Um, I'm kind of getting uh, the arts here. Maybe they are in acting. Maybe they're um, an artist or they paint or... It could be in any field here when it comes to creativity here. I transform and part of a fortune increase. So there's definitely going to be a lot of increase in fortune. And once this transforms, this is getting your wish fulfillment here. And number two is with the person you want to be with, Sean. So the number two is that um, balance and partnership and making choices here and decisions, having that harmony and that cooperation. Let's just get a couple of these here and then we'll end this. Okay, yeah, that cooperation. You might be looking for that, a team player, somebody that is going to be putting into the same pot that you're both gonna benefit from. There may have been thinking somebody was judging maybe uh, the their person or this friend group maybe was judging this person with the number three of pentacles there. I feel like this is <clears throat> 10, 10 with the number 20. This may be something of a um, twin flame I'm getting. Yeah. <laughs> The five of wands, this is maybe a competition with your friends about maybe they want what you have, Sean. It could be wanting the same person that you have. Maybe they are not wanting to see you two together because there's envy there or some type of jealousy. They may feel like, oh, you could have anyone. And maybe that's your choice of who you want, though. It's not their choice. So there might be some choices that are a little complex here, needing to figure out which one is what you have. You're leading here, though. So I feel like you can kind of <clears throat> look at the friend group here. You are in, um, I'm getting uh, a better position here to kind of lead not that you're dictating either. It's more that you are kind of speaking your truth. Stay out of it. Or needing to say, stay out of it. Yeah, there's some type of decision here. And it may be that you're maybe confused about things here. But I feel like he's going to see what he needs to see. And it may be revolving around a partnership and some type of group that there's friends with. What's the decision that needs to be made? Oh, going back to the past, thinking about the past person. All right. Well, I think we all know who that might have been. Oh, yeah. But seeing that this person maybe didn't give up on love, maybe this is Sean looking back. There is two cups still not giving up on a love here, needing to work this out, or maybe it's just working to kind of get away from all of this. Yeah, there may have been some type of deception here, getting caught red-handed or seeing something for what it is. Maybe it has to do with the friend group. 
maybe it had something to do with some type of deception towards the the person or having that past person thinking about maybe their deception towards them take it however that goes i'm not sure who hurt who but it's about fighting for that person and not necessarily letting them go not having um standing up for your person is kind of what i'm getting here no matter who the group is that you're with that person and nobody else is more important than that person. So let's see here. Ah, using your intuition. Perhaps you um, weren't using your intuition or this person that you were with could see through the facade of the people around you. Let's see what else. Mm, thinking. Ah. But there's some type of anxiety going on here, some type of breakthrough needing to happen. I'm getting, I almost see the eight of wands with this, like breaking through some type of promise or proposal that was made. Um, I'm getting this self-imposed prison or somebody's filling your head with negative thoughts here. You're thinking about the anxiety that maybe surrounds this when it comes to maybe talking with somebody. Yeah, needing to heal something with this person or healing self here. What's going on? Maybe you're just too young when you met her. Yeah, there's that communication with the Page of Pentacles. This is um, maybe growing that money independently here or being diligent and grounded when it comes to maybe talking with this person. I'm getting like um, goal oriented. Maybe you're going to plan certain things to hit certain goals when it comes to your person. See if you can't speak to her. Let's see. Yeah, a rebirth here. I'm getting whatever ended uh, needs to be reversed. Ah, coming through as the King of Pentacles here. I feel like this is uh, maybe to do with winning that lottery. <laughs> it's put you in a better position, maybe. Not needing to compete against your person. What is this? Yeah, doing the hermit, doing the work, going and looking within, figuring shit out. Needing to really see what you're... Ah, uh, you're worried there's not going to be a victory with this Queen of Wands that this isn't going to be recoverable and that it's going to end. Uh, you don't want it to end at all. You don't want there to be hurt. And I feel like you don't want the wrath of the Queen of Wands in reverse. And that's what you're feeling. You might be heading towards that temper of this person and that um, <laughs> her shadow self. <laughs> Uh, I see. Okay, well, we're going to turn this around because I feel like there may be some type of victory here, but it needs to have some ending towards the past and recovering from this hurt. Looks like things are recovering already. And the Queen of Wands, I feel like any time, um, I feel like this needs to be maybe talked about, about leaving that stuff behind. It's a new having it as a new and not keeping it hanging around where it's brought out to hurt the other and it's actually left in the past. What's on the bottom of the deck? Ah, King of Swords, that truth coming through here. With the King of Swords, that's that being serious about things. That integrity is there and being intellectual with the smarts, being disciplined about owning it or whatever this is, uh, recognizing it for what it is, is what I'm getting. So what's your intuition, Sean, saying about the person you are thinking from the past or the person you want to be with? Is it going to be resolved? What are you feeling here? <laughs> Four of Wands, that peace and restful person that holiday celebration that happy home and harmony love is in the air marriage 11 11 <laughs> sweet and what about your person what the sun are you kidding me they're gonna be so happy to have this come through more than you realize and i feel like 
it may not feel like a tug of war anymore. I feel like you're definitely going to have this playful thing going on. It's like, get married already. <laughs> this is beautiful. I love it. This is uh, definitely telling the story of what is going on, of what needs to happen and how this is going to resolve and what may be coming. Um, but doing the work to heal. And this could be you and your person, or this could be just one of you um, needing to put something to rest uh, and letting it go. Maybe both, uh, but definitely getting to that higher spot of that growth and understanding what the underlying things are that are happening here. So, wow. I love this reading for you, Sean Mendez. You're going to get whoever you're wanting here. Looks like you're thinking about somebody from your past here with the Six of Cups, somebody you're yearning for, somebody you're longing for, somebody that has some sentimental value to you, uh, somebody that made you feel comfortable, that you could be yourself. There's joyful memories there of the past. So anyhow, <laughs> if you'd like to donate towards the channel, um, you absolutely can in the description box below in the PayPal account. There's credit card and debit as well as PayPal. There's also the super thanks or just watching the videos, uh, hitting that like button and subscribing it certainly helps and lets YouTube know that you like the content that I'm doing and it's gonna help propel us propel us to that million view that millionth view that i'm striving to hopefully get to it's not going to take long i think there's under twenty thousand um more views in order for us to get to that million dollar million dollar <laughs> a million dollar views <laughs> no the millionth view <laughs> wish there was a million dollars coming in with that i mean dang i could use some money honey <laughs> anyhow i'm just kidding i'm kidding all right you guys <laughs> take care stay blessed and we'll see you next time all right Lita.